Temple! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. Yes, I am sitting on this toilet here, but not in this realm of existence, you see, dear viewer. I am talking to you from beyond the grave. More smoke, Bertrand! The, the button thing hit it! Hit the button! Yes, dear viewer, I have become a ghost. Welcome to my review for Paranormal Activity. The lo oh, you can see my hands. Damn it! Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul was released for the PlayStation very realistic in 2017 and unsurprisingly is set in the same universe as the movie series Paranormal Activity. Now isn't that a remarkable coincidence? No. Well, go to hell then. So, you might be asking yourself, what is Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, and why should I care? And I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer, who was definitely not masturbating or playing with a Barbie while listening to my review in the background. Now, put it down. I'm sure it'll still be there when the review is done. I am, of course, referring to the Barbie and not to the, um... <coughs> <coughs> Paranormal activity is the equivalent of a dickhead and a monkey mask hiding in your closet so that when you come into the room, they can leap out and cause you to scream the house down and shit your pants. Though, maybe not necessarily in that order. That is to say, this game is laden with jump scares. Look in a mirror! Jump scare! Open a door! Jump scare! Pick up an object! Jump scare! Now, I am exaggerating, but not by much. I've heard people describe this game as immersive, terrifying, the best thing since Jack the Ripper cut up five dirty whores. Well, I am here to tell you, dear viewer, that if you like limply walking around a house with awful controls in VR and not in VR, picking up random objects and enduring jump scare after jump scare, then go ahead and pick up Paranormal Activity The Lost Soul. I'll be over here, cutting up five dirty whores. I, I mean, um... <coughs> ah! On to the story then. So, you play as a son. Could be anyone's son. Yours. Mine. Could well be the son of God for all we know. No, actually, that is much more interesting. We will refer from here on to our character as Jesus. So, Jesus returns to his childhood home... Uh, heaven, where we realize there is a dynamic force, the, 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 the Satan on the loose. The usual haunted house shenanigans have been occurring. Weird voices, things coming out of mirrors, loud bangs, sex toys levitating, you know, the usual. So, Jesus must walk around his house, uh, Heaven, collecting objects to perform some sort of ritual at mass. Oh, and his sister, uh, Mother uh, Teresa, seems to be the focus of the ghost. Uh, I mean, Satan's attention. And you later find out that your dad, uh, God, has his head cut off. 
silver, silver lining though, you can pick up and play with his head. Actually, how much do you think I could get for God's head on eBay? Does that, uh, does that all make any kind of sense? No? Well, go to hell then. Now, I've already mentioned that you can play this game in very realistic and non-very realistic modes. But it controls like utter arse in both modes. The only way I can describe it is if you stuck an epileptic under a set of disco lights. What would ensue would resemble how it looks to move your character in this game. I.e. very bloody disturbing. Not to mention dangerous. Um, uh, I think that epileptic is dead. Quick! Kill the disco lights! Uh, if, if anyone asks, he, uh, he, he killed himself. Uh, wait a minute. On second thoughts, let's, uh, dump the body. I'll start the automobile. Bertram, help me put him in the boat. No? Well, go to hell then. So, in conclusion, I thought this game was a dreadful waste of 90 minutes. Oh yes, the game is that short. So I'm going to give Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, a 3. 3.3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. The Lost Soul. If you enjoyed this review of mine, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it so much, give me the middle finger. Feel free to leave some abuse for me in my comment section. Feel free to post me some of your unwanted excrements. And until next time, remember to stay obsessed with gaming.